So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today people, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this incredible looking gear known as the Beast Champion Armor. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this Beast Champion Armor is epic. Stats on it are decent too. Guys, you're going to love it. It's a bit hefty. I'm not going to lie, you're going to need a bit of uh, endurance to run this thing properly, but if that's your kind of thing, guys, this is just for you. Okay, so to get this is kind of a crazy one, I'm not going to lie. So what you need to do, guys, is come to the War Master Shack right here on the map. And this is where it's located. So as you can see, if you haven't unlocked this yet, come here, guys. Let's talk to this dude. Now, once you talk to this dude, he will actually offer to sell you ash of wars now what i recommend you do is guys because what we're actually going to do here is kill this dude we're actually going to take him out so if that's something you don't want to do yet because it is an npc a friendly npc it may affect the story later on in the game so if you don't want to make that choice yet you do not have to what i did was i went and farmed runes i got enough runes to buy every one of his stock that he offers and then i went ahead and killed him quite easy to kill not gonna lie but when you do guys you get all his armor and what you also get guys is a scepter as well as a bell bearing now what you do with a bell bearing is guys you take it to the table of the lost grace bottom left of your map and from here guys you want to give it to the twin maiden husks now you can check out its inventory or their inventory and you can just offer them the bell bearing you see bell bearing shop one which is his, so it sells what he would have had. So you ain't really missing out on anything there, if I'm honest with you. Now, another thing you can do from the same shack and location, and I'd probably recommend you doing this before you kill him, because I'm not sure it works afterwards, is go here, make sure it's, uh, well, nighttime. So if it isn't, go back to the grace and turn it to nightfall. Then what you need to do, guys, is either fast travel to a different grace and come back to this grace, or just load back into the same grace of War Master's shack. Upon you doing this, guys, you will be welcomed with inside the shack, as this NPC isn't here, but a bell bearing hunter will be. Now, if you take him out, you also get something called the Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. If you take this back to the Twin Maiden's Husks, you get the option to purchase two sets of bones used in crafting materials. I ain't sure what these are for as of right now, but if you'd like to do that, you can while you're at it, guys. But yes, this is how you get this amazing looking armor set known as the Beast Champion Armor. Again, like I said, you'll need a bit of endurance to run this properly because it's so heavy. But other than that, its stats are quite tanky, it really is. And there we have it, guys. And I hope the video helped you out. Remember though, killing this NPC could have an effect later on in the story for you. May mean that a quest you may want to do later on won't be there for you. Or could change in some way, we just don't know. So just keep that in mind. But there we have it guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.